Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Star Shadow Plays, or Rob, aka Star Shadow, right here with some Star Triggers. Getting a touch of a late start this afternoon, uh, out of my hands there a little bit, just like yesterday when I was supposed to stream, uh, stream this, but, you know, life happens sometimes, you, uh, make do. So we are back, and we are going to do, get in, a little into this, uh, mission for Richard, retired diplomat. Uh, Cassie Kane, she wants us to uh, help Richard steal some technology off the Devaltos, who, you know, we finally got on our side. But uh, they are uh, building uh, what is the, uh, what is it called, Delta Scanner Tech to be worth a fortune. Now what this might do is actually get us on the good side of the Richard, actually, which would be nice. And uh, hopefully won't you no, know, upset the Devaltos too much. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, while we're doing this, we are gonna start thinking about getting a new ship because uh, we want to go. We want to go big. Time to go big or go home. As we have a couple of uh, officer candidates that want in, we don't have the officer space currently. We are full up with uh, three officers. Pretty sad. I guess we, is that all the ship can hold actually? We have four officers, I guess. Uh, Max, oh, we could actually add another one, but we would have to uh, bring this around a little bit, I think. So uh, we could add another one. We may do that uh, and at least pick up uh, Nicaramius and then, but still, we want to go big, go home, and think so. While we're here, let's we'll start doing this. So we are we need to do two spying runs to get this. Uh, these are all bad. Mission success. That's one. Rat call told the truth. We've intercepted some of the communications from the chief research officer Kai Mar. She's relied on different Star Trader captains to exchange messages back and forth with her family over the five years she's been stationed here. We could find a way to be one of those Star Triggers. Not sure how that would bring us any closer to the Gotha tech, though. From what we've been able to decrypt, Kai Mar is asking for her family to be relocated here because the work is going so well. She is likely to be here forever. Okay, so... He's asking for a family to be relocated here because the work is going so well, he's likely to be here forever. Then perhaps she really will be the one to drag the Gotha Tech out of, the, out of theory and into reality. Hopefully Cassie Kane has an idea how we could use this knowledge to our advantage. Can we get another one? Ah, uh, that one's so well, and look at this, they are really trying to kill me here. Really. Uh... Okay, money. It's getting worse and worse and worse. Bam. Wow, we got lucky there. Our extended operation from orbit has yielded a lot of facts, Captain. We've recorded everything for Cassie Kane's review. It is clear that the facility is locked up tight. The Devoltos military is involved. We had to tread very carefully not to set off any alarm bells. Did we learn anything more about the head of security, Carl Valse? Oh yes, he is well known, as are his habits. He's in the Spice Hall regularly and has a connection with a few local smugglers who keep the spice flowing. Even though he always has an elite set of bodyguards with him, you could get to him. Bodyguards or not, he's putting the lab security at risk every time. It's another angle. Alright, so it's time to go back to Cassie and find out uh, what we can do with this information. As she's a career development spy, perhaps she can see a way we can arrange these pieces into success. Nice. Alright, we lost a little bit of rep with the Voltos. Again, we're at 19. That's still not bad. Uh, we can always ply uh, the Voltos with some intel to kind of help even that out. This is definitely something I will definitely do. Uh, I'm just curious here. If I did this, and let's say I did, uh, 
he's not upset at least 30 minutes though so this is not gonna work no matter what even if i did officer quarters it's not gonna work oh actually maybe maybe nope not quite i would have to get rid of probably my prisoner cell slash passenger depending on what i need it to be in order to do it which is another reason get a bigger ship can't stuff everything we want to in this Uh, I'm trying to think if maybe not so we could take out. Mm. Not really. All right. Well, let's head back first, and then we'll we'll think about it a little bit more. Uh. All right. So Trico, oh, Master Spy, award achieved. Lead 100 spying runs. Okay, cool. Kill. Kill the beans. Oh. That is just... I don't even have the words for how bad that is. I mean, the other thing we do is probably dump our cargo ship, even though we do use it every once in a while to ferry stuff that's, you know, decent. Like, we do, like, gas processors, which are... Permit 3, which I have permit 3, but anyone I'm friendly with. Let's do that. Not doing much merchanting, but still. But still. It's just so ugly. That was so ugly. Luckily, they're at minus 153. They were at minus 180. But we are slowly reeling them in. Slowly reeling them in. Nope. Uh, refinery should have better prices. Uh, you are illegal here. Oh, it's got to be 8 or lower. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Uh, you guys don't want to throw it. Merchant, uh, you don't want none, which is fine. Uh, can I? Nope. Seems that they don't want none anyway. It's fine. It's fine. They don't want none. I don't want none. They don't want none. No need to get into anything. I don't know why they would despair just because, you know, we'd let them live. It's like they should be hailing us and being like, these are the greatest people we ever met. They let us let us live. Uh, too many varied results. Okay, and meet over to the spice plate. And that is everything, Cassie. You've outdone yourself, Captain. Take some time to relax and reward your crew for their hard work. I will need it. I will need time to pour over these records. A few days pass before Cassie calls us back. It seems that the bribe to Andre Hall was worth its weight and more. Of course, your secondary research has also proven to be invaluable. Do uh, you have a plan on how to turn either of these openings into a winning hand? If we are ruthless enough, we can achieve our goal. We must regain the technology which was stolen from the right shirt. Whatever the cost, Captain. Uh oh, there's that intense light. Alright. Uh, how can we turn the situation with Kaimar's family to our advantage? The researcher Kaimar is the crown jewel of the operation. I've dug more into her background. She's top notch. First in her academy class, went on to help with the dual field void engine. He's brilliant and completely vulnerable. So what do you have in mind, Cassie? Her family has stayed on DeVolto's Prime and she communicates with them through Star Traders plying the trade routes. 
Do you remember how the guild fell into the fell to the Nervidians before the Exodus? The Nervidians infiltrated the FTL comms network and stepped in between worlds. Every guild world thought they were working with their people, but really what was on the other end of the line was all an illusion. A grand manipulation. The lies in the stars. So we're going to use a Nervidian trick. Feels dirty. Something like it. Kaimar is going to get terrible news from the Void. Her entire family has fallen ill. They may die at any moment. To be on the first of Alto's transports, you can jump. And you'll be waiting for her in system orbit. Wreck the transport, capture the scientist, and bring her to me. She will be put in charge of a fully staffed and fully funded lab here, where she will recreate the Gotha technology. And effectively disappear forever. Kaimar is the jewel. Once we have her in our labs, Reicher will regain what they have lost in the Devaltos what they have lost to the Devaltos vermin. Uh trick into captivity. Does seem kind of weird. We are able to steal the Gotha tech and turn it into reality. We will gain two hundred thousand bonus. A lot of money. Actually it's not even that much money. Alright, so how can we exploit Carl Valse's spice addiction? The Devaltos are fools for allowing this weak link Carl Valse to run security at the Gotha lab. It shows only that they have no idea that anyone knows about their secret research, or they would have found someone less risky. We'll hit him in the spice hole? Yes, he's made that part pretty easy for us. But first you'll need to pick up one of my operatives, as a Nox. Taking Carl Valse out won't be enough. We'll need to use his security credentials to break into their system. And quickly. That's where Ezza comes in. You'll bring her with you to the spice hall. Where's she? I have friends everywhere, Star Trigger. Ezza used to be a Devolto security tech until she fell on her own hard times. I see, I imagine she is as eager to help as Andre Hall was. Indeed she is, but even knowing the Devolto system protocols, she will need as much time as possible. To ensure that, we'll need to wait until Carl Valsi is getting one of his special deliveries from a smuggler. On those days, it seems he stays down in the hall for hours, sometimes overnight. So we pick up Ezza and then hang around the system until one of his known smugglers comes through. Then we get the drop on him, take out his team, and Ezza will infiltrate their system and try to steal the Gotha design. I like how you say it. It sounds easy. Ha! You better be playing. Better be paying well, Cassie. All right. We can accept it if we are willing to kill Carlo Valsi to steal the Gotha tech. We are able to steal the gold attack and turn to reality. That's another 200,000. Alright. Uh, then we have much to consider. We must be ruthless and direct, Captain. Before Devaltos knows we are coming, the secrets they have stolen could be back in our hands. Alright. We should consult the mission list to see the two options for pursuing the gold attack. If we will not suffer a penalty for accepting both missions, but only complete. Okay, so we can take both and decide which one we want to do. Okay. I thought for a second, said so we can only do one. If we accept both, then I'll be mad. Okay. 151. Okay, so we get rid of her. Some stiff. Uh, let's see how we do with some of the stuff here. Ooh, look at that money. Sell these two. Uh. So uh, that gets us down to 149. Okay. Uh, we want to keep some for Devaltos. That's why I didn't sell all of it to her. Right. Oh, okay. So we were. That's a lot of work. That was a lot of work. And then we would have to get into a ship fight, actually. Which I don't. I don't like. I don't like any of this, I don't think. I don't like the thought of her, you know, as a, as a, as a family man, myself, using her family against her and then not letting her see her family. I mean, like, if we were capturing her and then, like, bring her family to her in captivity, at least I would feel a little bit better about that, because we'd be like, oh, at least the family's together. But this sounds like, yeah, that sounds bad. Good then she still doesn't see her family. It's kind of not fun. It's worth more money. Uh, this one. So we just get in a fight. Right, so Carval says they had a security, uh -huh, but has a known spice addiction, 
and we use this weakness or advantage to take out his bodyguards and hijack his personal security clearance. Okay. So another developed citizen who has come by hard times is willing to turn cold to help Cassie. Miss Kane is very convinced is a very convincing woman. We will pick up as a knocks on Puchong ostensibly as a passenger. So I'm gonna to have to switch out my uh, passenger cabin instead of my prisoner cabin. Uh, we must patrol this route post on the lookout for one of the smugglers. Okay. Uh, the smuggler touches down. We know it's time to strike, so we take him out. The smuggler who supplies uh, has departed, leaving the lab's commanding officer alone with his bodyguards. So then we fight the bodyguards. Perfect. And then we come back. Okay, this one's easy enough. Let's do that. All right. Ah. So we, uh, let's head up to get our space again. I should be able to switch out uh, to my passenger. No, 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 no. We're not fighting. Let's switch out to our passenger uh, quarters for this. Then, uh, yeah, makes it easy. Oh, there. Oh, if we are unable to get driver drive without 80s we feel cut. Oh yeah. Come on. How about them? They have class us into space. Okay, we'll just kick the backside out of them. Fine. You brought this on yourself, man. Just keep that in mind. Pirate von Hake. This is self-defense, remember everyone. And then we kill everyone in here. Just remember, they brought it on themselves. So maneuvers, they can't seem to hit us anyway, but we're gonna make sure. Uh, they did that while flying, it didn't help them. Uh, let's pound them some more. We're gonna give them a little bit of the twitch surge. We're gonna try and get all the way in. So we can get a miss. You can get a miss. Oh, they're coming in close too. It's all the way to one. Get all the way to one. <sighs> and then. Ah, oh, gee. Hit them with this. That'll make sure they can't run from us once we get inside. They could try and run, but they can't because we hit them with that. So now they're in trouble. We can just pound and pound and pound and also pound. And um, yeah, take them to pound town. I think there's anything else I want to hit them with. Not really. They're not hitting us, so we don't need to do any of that. I guess we'll look to put up in another invasive maneuvers in a turn. I was gonna let them get away. I was gonna let them get away. Hell yeah. I mean, I probably could have got away with the. the man, I'm not really sure, because I don't think they're very high level. They had 19, 17, 26. Sniper. Okay, we gotta take that guy, that girl out. She has to go all the way back, though. Perfect. Should be able to kill her. Yeah. Perfect. So, okay, okay, okay. We have a charging one here. There. That's a thumbs up. Big thumbs up. Panic burst, sabotage. Then we'll do intel and the next run in. 
Yeah, I was gonna run away from you guys, but should have taken a hint. Should have taken a hint. Uh, okay, Willie, bring it back in. Come on, Willie. That's uh, some twins here, I guess. Uh, Ranger different though. All right, uh, let's start off with that. Okay, perfect. Uh, throw the grenade, all right. All right, puncture points, throw the grenade. And that uh, should have pinned probably. It's about magic because you're dead. The suture did, did not do anything that will help you out because you are spoiled or dead. A uh, mass dampener. Okay, we'll take that out. Let's take some intel off of them too. Which is why, one reason why we love the board is taking that intel off of them. Nice free intel. It's worth it anyway. We might as well just take it all and their piloting systems that's fallen. And we didn't get to kill everyone. We only had nine people left anyway. Let's take your fuel. What do you got on you? Codex spice. Uh, finding trade law. Or lowers, kind of, kind of sucks. All right, I'll let you go that time. He didn't hit us. Reputation, care, ransom. Now we could have ran from him. That's right, we just we just looked like five minutes ago. Alright. We are now heading this way. Uh okay. What is our path here? Night breaks. Okay, this should uh oh my god, it's a long way to go. All friendly territory, so perfect. Stepped up a bit. Oh, uh, do we have a level up? Time aboard the ship has changed Pablo. He's now rugged. Ooh. Hydra Tricy. I like Hydra The drink. Hydra Tricy. Let's check you guys out real quick. I wonder if you like grass processors, you do? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Anything you're selling that I can take for no reason whatsoever? Not really. We like high margin stuff. Because we don't carry much. Man. A review of the law can be useful from time to time. Well, that's actually kind of smart. Alright. Operational drills. Perfect. Sealed compartment leak. Good. Good. I mean, if I haven't learned anything from this game, it's that. All of these ships are flying death traps. Every single one. Even the safest of them are flying death traps. Oh, I forgot to do what I was going to do. Uh, 
uh, passenger quarters. Perfect. Yeah, it's not the cheapest to be doing it this way, where I'm constantly switching things out depending on the mission, but A, we've got the money, and B, don't have the space for it. Be nice if I did. Be nice if I did. So, oh, yeah, the Frank the Dude Loon hates us. Well, they don't hate us, but they don't like us nearly as much as they did after, you know. I defended myself against one of their princes. Literally self-defense. Captain, we received a message for us from a local Thulu intelligence officer. The dockmaster delivered it personally after we finished all of our landing procedures. Uh, let me see. It's nothing but vagaries and promises of a rewarding partnership if we can assist her. Uh, Rovain Von Shah, Thulu intelligence officer. She said it, it's, it is prickly and political in nature. That's... Interesting. Do you think she means that it's about the United Coalition? She does. Oh, she's here. Okay, perfect. Okay, this is our next era. Uh, Storyline era here. We'll go talk to her real quick. Tell us more about this prickly business of yours. Many welcomes, Captain. Greetings from the Void. You have some important work only a Star Trader can do. It is indeed a thorny issue that needs your proper handling. This work concerns our entire United Galaxy. I have need of a trustworthy captain and ally. Arbiters are not to be taken lightly. You'll need to prove that you're the captain before I can share anything more specific. So whatever she's up to, it's to do with the United Coalition and Arbiter Baruchshire. These hints were dropped clearly enough, and you have to reach 25 personal rep. And... Consider her light work. We may do best by selling her valuable intel, which is perfect because we need to uh, get our Thulun rep up again anyway, so. Yep, sell, sell, and sell. And uh, these do you like? You like this one, and you like this one. All right, how are we doing? A 30 rip, she's at 23, what do we need? We need one more. Right? Kind of forgotten. Ah. So you're ready to talk about this prickly political business? And you're welcome again, once again, Captain. So are you ready to discuss this important issue finally? Yes I am. You must understand that it is a thorny issue that needs proper handling. I needed to know you are where I I needed to know you were a trustworthy captain and ally. This work concerns our entire galaxy. I know that in the past you have flown under the United Coalition flag. True. But I think we can all agree that the Coalition has grown too powerful. They really don't do anything. <laughs> like, barely anything. <laughs> Specifically, Arbiter Bruckstrom is growing too powerful. Again, she's done absolutely nothing in the past four or five years. Absolutely nothing. For the good of all, she needs her wings clipped. The hard-earned freedoms of our people are at risk. We need to ensure that Arbiter Rockstrom and her coalition cannot overstep their bounds. Which brings me to the prickly opportunity. I have uncovered some buried demons in Rockstrom's past that would check her power. Uh, you know that I personally had a hand in forming the coalition. Of course, I am aware that of that Star Trader, but I know that it speaks highly to your integrity and desire to protect the Star Trader's people. And I trust that if you look at the ultimate political power gathering in Bruckstrom's hands, you must see the danger of letting the girl unchecked. Again, she's done absolutely nothing in, like, years. At least that we've heard of. The Coalition is an important part of our world now, I accept that. But it must be a balanced part of our world. And its leadership must be concerned with the good of all factions. Not simply growing in power. Again, there's been absolutely nothing. Like, even during the uh, Cheetah, we did not hear of them doing anything. I know they eventually, some Templars do come. Like, if you are progressing down that, which, you know, if we were a Xeno battling squad, we would have. But we never got to that, so we don't. But again, I really not sure what she's talking about 
Tell me, what buried demons do you plan to unearth? A prisoner came into my purview who told a very interesting story about the Arbiter. The prisoner's name is Shrek Hazermat, and he once worked for Gux Miga. Gux Miga, you mean? A Gux of the Mastermind cult? Indeed, one of the same. Gux Miga is a known disciple of the Gux Mastermind cult who appeared in early 188 AE. She disappeared six years later in 194 AE. As far as anyone knows, she is still at large. And his prisoner? Uh, worked for her during those years. He was hired muscle, the deadliest kind. But the Loon shock troopers brought him down alive during one of Guxmiga's raids on a military stockpile. After a few years, they realized he wasn't going to or couldn't rat Guxmiga out. He has been rotting in a prison camp for all these years. After he heard about the coalition, he spoke up. He got a warden's attention, and a story made its way up to me. I don't know if it's true, but he claims he has proof of Brockstrom's misdeeds. What would Arbiter Brockstrom have to do with the Gux? It seems that she hired Guxmiga as a negotiator in 193 AE. She may not have known Guxmiga's real identity at the time, but she employed Mika to try and bring a Maklumnwe prince into the unionist, unionist cause. Trying to think if we would know who that is actually. That sounds impossible to prove without hard evidence. It has been decades. Okay, I guess that was before our time. Uh, Drake claims he can retrieve stashed intel records that prove everything. Hiring Guxmiga as a negotiator is nothing really. Here's the bombshell. Drake swears that Broxton paid Guxmiga to assassinate the same Maklumnwe prince when he refused to capitulate. So she not only worked with the Gux, but also paid that same Gux to kill an enemy of the Unionist cause? I know that it is hard to believe. The Gux mastermind cult is on the very far side of the vile end of evil. For an arbiter to employ a Gux and then release that creature against a faction prince. The unsolved assassination of Prince Brio the Mott, as well as his father, wife, and two potential heirs tells you exactly what kind of monster Gux Mika is. If it is true, this intel is not just damaging, it's damning. We can't draw conclusions yet. I believe Trike may be exaggerating to get attention, and it may all be a lie still. I need someone to find out quietly quickly uh who is this gux mika and what is the mastermind cult uh gux is a name from a long time ago Her, his first name was gux Dulun, and he was just born just after the end of the exodus he was a promising military commander perhaps too smart for his own good but he was a traitor a thief and a merciless killer he will always be remembered as a dark stain on the great house Dulun. In his day, he took a new name, Gux Malleus. I don't like the Sith. This terrible legend is told in spice halls across the galaxy. His is a story that is all bad, the kind you use to frighten children at night. But eventually, his highness crimes and obsession with Zeno caught up to him. Obsession with Zeno? My god. The Jumplars hunted him for years. In the end, multiple knights witnessed his death. He was ripped in half by a Zeno lord. A day of lords? Of course, the legends don't stop there. Decades later, other Gux began to appear. The worst of the worst. Xeno cult leaders, deadly predators and imposters, bloodthirsty killers. At first, it was thought they took his name as copycats or to try to jumpstart their own legends. But there are always too many similar similarities. They are all deadly smart. Too damn smart. And they all employ his bag of tricks. Impersonation, manipulation, single-minded violence. Those few that have been caught alive have all confessed the same disturbing story, that of the Mastermind Cult. Those who talk all claim that Gux Melius is alive and he is handpicking brilliant disciples to join his cult. And Gux Mika is another one of these masterminds. Her crimes are many and they include toppling the dynasty of a Javat Prince in 192 AE. If she assassinated Prince Ombriel de Mott and his entire family, it would be only it would be only be five more murders. It would only be five more murders on a long list. Looks like Gux Malleus Mika has disappeared. She may be dead, but no one knows her fate. Uh, how many other mastermind disciplines? How many other mastermind disciplines have there been? The ones that have been exposed for what they truly are. As far as I know, there have been 12 Gux of the Mastermind Cult. Four of them are unaccounted for, while the other eight are dead. 
When they do appear, it is the Templar Knights, Arbiters, and Thulun's own who hunt for them. Vex Miga was the most recent member of the cult to appear and take the dreaded name. So why wouldn't Gux Miga expose Arbiter herself? The Gux marched to their own beat of the drum. What? Uh, the Gux marched to their own beat of the drum. No one knows why they commit their abominable crimes or how they pick their targets. To the outside observer, even for those of us in the business of intel, and who study these kind of things, there is no discernible pattern. Uh, those Gux who have been captured and interrogated claim that there is a greater scheme in play. Only a mastermind could understand it, see it. So it is impossible to know. Gux Mika might be withholding the evidence for her own purposes or she might not even care. I have a dark suspicion that she would use it as leverage over the Arbiter in days to come. What a dangerous thing that would be. Ah. If Gux Mika were to gain control of the Arbiter through such leverage, all right, let's talk specifics about Trake Zermatt and how we can confirm his story. I knew you'd be interested. If there's even a stitch of truth in his story the galaxy deserves to know. Remember, I am not doing this for myself, but for the good of all. Wink. Wink. I've come to an arrangement with Trake. In return uh, for the evidence, he will be transferred out of his max security prison camp. And if the evidence is what he claims, I will have his pending death sentence relieved. First, we need to transfer him safely to his new home, then he will share his secrets. If it is real, I'll take care of clearing his sentence. Right, so... We're willing to help dig, okay. On the other hand, the Arbiter is, a powerful, is in a powerful position. Perhaps we should instead visit her at the Coalition Headquarters and warn her of Von Shaw's plan. Alright. Uh, this is interesting because uh, I, in my other playthrough, uh, I did follow this but not in like probably how did we did we do this uh oh we got one ending out of this so i kind of want to try the other ending with the arbiter because i mean looking at this it does seem kind of weird that the way it's going so uh i'm curious to see what this branch of the storyline will do so i think that's what i'm gonna do after considering taking up this evidence, don't delay too long. Dick won't take, will not take care, charge of the situation. I will find someone who can. Could Gux possibly, possibly be alive? Templar Knights are Zendu. They pass their memories of life down to their descendants. In preparation for that lineage transfer, they spend their lives mastering arts of meditation, memory encoding, and deep memorization. There are Templar Knights alive today who can see the death of Gux Malleus in their lineage memories. He died, but somehow his legacy has lived on. I mean, in that kind of way, that kind of says that we, perhaps the Templar, like they, the Gucks for Templars and their memories maybe got passed down and that's how that's working. Uh, how long do we have? Two years, okay. So let's do what we're doing here. And then we'll go meet up with the, the Arbiter and see what she says before we take that. I am interested to see uh, how this is going to go. Right. Got to drink the water here. Zeno, oh, okay. You know what that means? We are definitely not finding Zeno right now. Okay, until until components we're gonna be doing that. Okay, so this might this is worth a shot. Four to eight. Okay, so we got nine. I mean, what we're going to be uh, repairing anyway, that's worth uh, looking into here. Ch 
Uh, it should be the next one, right? Yep. Fifth Divide. <laughs> ah, man. Blockade here. Just want to refuel anyway. Retired Duelist. Interesting. Just because you're retired doesn't mean that you're not going to duel again. Yep. Alright. Chong. Ice clear from reactor field generator. That's good. Even though it's happened twice. Icy debris. Okay, must have been a really cold area. I mean, this is pretty safe, actually. A refuel repair hull. That's nice. Okay. Care decompromised. Right. We can meet her at the security checkpoint, or we can meet her with all pomp and circumstance. I don't think we need to do that. Well, but reputation booster. Thank you. Please have your officer show me to my quarters. I want to know as little about all this as possible. I can understand that. But you'll do your part. I will do whatever I have to to repay my debt to Cassie Kane. You make sure she knows that. Now, my quarters. I see. Officer, take her to her quarters. Yes, Captain. Keep an eye on her. She's skittish. We will, Captain, but whatever Cassie Kane has on her, she is clearly in deep. She's going to do her part. Right, so we got her. Now we can head to the lab and wait for our opportunity to take a little say. Two beans, we lost a little rep, one rep, that's not too bad. Uh, but we just paid a, a bunch of money for fuel, just got ripped off, so uh, we should actually get a rep for that, for letting ourselves get ripped off, if you ask me. Alright, so now we go to Fermi Nebula. I'm trying to think of how to get the Far Fallen uh, along this path here. That's all in for me, Nebula, okay, and then go to Midgard afterwards. I wonder if we might make a trip over to Farfall. Real quick, real quick. I'm interested to see what's going on here. Oh my god, oh my god, quick stop, quick stop. Real quick. And also because I'll forget to do this if I don't do this beforehand. <laughs> it is. That's the way it goes. I'm glad you won't forsake your duties. It's a good thing. Uh, we in a rush, we're not here to fight. We're here to travel the stars. Uh, in peace and harmony with our fellow people. Oh yeah, there's no repairs here. Should probably go somewhere else. SCB here. Princess. Oh yeah, she's the one that hates us because we I guess we killed her brother. Whatever. Uh it's not my fault. He attacked me. He slapped him around. Died. Happens. Maybe. Uh dangerous schemer. Okay, so now she is you'd be willing to give us missions. After we beat the heck out of the werewolf that she sent after us. Huh. Right, you sent the werewolf after us, didn't you? Kind of sad. I guess no hard feelings after after that weapon we gave out. Did she drop something too? Are we using it? Because that would be kind of funny to go in, talk to her wearing this 
stuff of the bounty hunter she sent after us. It'd be so alpha. Hey lady, oh yeah, the bounty hunter you sent after us? Oh, yeah, we're wearing her armor now. Ah, you wanna try again? Perfectly fine. Okay, next divide. Yeah, we can slip through here, I think. Merchant? No problemo. Since Javad's base is pretty, pretty clear. Pretty friendly. Should be fine. But we'll make a quick stop right here. Can got. Just in case, you just never know. Sometimes, sometimes people wanna wanna come at you. What's well, in that liaison? Trade permits. Uh, I'm just kind of curious what kind of mission she gives up. But Vice runner too. Cool. Oh, hey, <laughs> we learned that uh, we see one of our talents, uh, and fair enough. I like the way that worked. Oh, it's a good looking military officer. Hello, sir. Oh, you're minus two. Why, Zenran? Why? Why would you be minus two? We are rep with you as 300. Why would your initial disposition of us be anything but plus a million? Definitely be paying us, okay? A space parasite and a viral agent. Okay, people are getting into trouble, of course. Betches. Got some more intel. Perfect. Uh, spy. Hello, sir. How's your spying going? Things going well. Ours is going pretty well too. We're just getting free stuff. Uh, but yes. Hope your spying goes well as well. Everything has value. You'd be surprised what you can make a halt patch from. Yes, that's, that's always a good thing. Still blockaded. Wasn't this blockaded the last time we were here? Alrighty, let's see what she's got to say for herself. <laughs> Sadly, it's your crazy. You. Always are talking crazy. All right, Mrs. Still. What have you to say? Shall we tell the Arbiter about Sylvain von Schaud's plot? Yes. Everything we've worked for in the United Coalition is at risk if von Schaud is able to tear Arbiter Broxham down. As von, as von Schaud said, the Union is here to stay, but Broxham, Broxham's position as its magnet and leader is it really possible that Estelle used the Gux to further the, un the Unionist cause? Uh, we may be able to gauge for ourselves if the Arbiter is trying to hide something. <laughs> we have to decide, should we warn her or keep it a secret? <laughs> uh, we must warn Estelle, we gotta do it. And that is everything we know so far. So Vain Van Shah, I have never heard of her, but she sounds dangerously ambitious. House Thuluan has always held a de facto position of leadership within the clans and great houses. The Red Lions of Thuluan are feeling challenged by the Coalition's growing positive influence. They have an axe to grind. This new development pro proves, perhaps more than anything, that what we have created together is working. As the Coalition helps improve gal galactic stability, those who profited from it are sure to try to resist. But what of the charges? Are they true? I believe that the skeleton effects are correct, yes. The rest is lies and deceit provided by Gux Mastermind. Of course, Bacha sounds eager to listen. And even more eager to prosecute. Thankfully, I pro I've practiced into encoding and retrieving of memories my entire life. I can provide a very clear account of what happened in 193 AE. As you know, Arbiters often take up the ship captains during our travels. We have always relied on Star Traders to get us around and to help us accomplish our work. In 193 AE, I was working to convince the Maklumnoe Prince Obriel de Mott to side with the Unionist cause. But she's dedicated more than a half a century to this work. 
I took passage to Obri's system with a Captain Kirk. Among Kirk's officers was a promising and extremely talented negotiator, Mari Cahot. As is customary, I paid the captain a hefty fee to bring his negotiator along with me to the palace. So Mari Cahot was Gux Mika? If she was, it speaks volumes to the Gux ability to manipulate and deceive. How could I have known? She was a young officer with a silver tongue. No, silver isn't good enough. It was irid plated. I thought we were sure to win Obrio over with her help. However, like many others, he wanted to use the coalition for his profit. He envisioned a coalition that enshrined the Maklemoid trade network, superiority, and galactic law. He stuck to his unacceptable demands, and in the end, I left his palace to seek other, more reasonable supporters. Captain Kirk was headed in a different direction than I, so I parted from him and Marie Cahot. He was such a talent that I offered her a job at my side, but she refused. Uh... What happened to Prince Obrio? Shortly after our negotiations fell through, he was assassinated by a rival within his own clan. Obrio, his wife, and his two potential heirs, and even his aging father were all poisoned. His royal line lineage ended in a single terrible night. Sylvain von Shaw believes you may have paid Guxmiga to remove Obrio for his unwillingness to join the Unionist cause. I had nothing to do with it. I can't say whether Gux Mika was involved, but I don't see why she would target the Maklemue prince. However, it is a political murder that was never solved. I remember that. Though perhaps that lends some credence to the thought that it was the Gux. The masterminds are the type to perpetuate unsolved crimes. The prince's entire line was severed. Indeed, a replacement was selected by Maklemue to take his throne. It was still his bloodline, but from a far branch. The clan leadership deemed it the safest way to avoid allowing whoever committed the murders to gain power. Princess Heda Lamotte took the throne. He is still princess, if I recall correctly. Uh, we will play your double agent and see this evidence firsthand. I know this is not an easy decision, nor is it without risks for you and your crew. Know this: I have spent half a century working to build a United Coalition. I would never have risked its success. I would never have risked its success in this way. Never. The Gux Mastermind is an evil creature, twisted by whatever dark master they serve. Whatever evidence Gux Mika left behind, it had one goal, to do harm to all. And then, make your decision, but consider who you are serving. The Red Lions, the Thulun, or Justice? Oh, okay, so... That's interesting. Very interesting. So we go back and then do this, okay. So now she actually is... Okay, okay so this is interesting. I mean, there are a few lines of conversation I would have liked to follow there, like how we can believe her and all that kind of stuff, but apparently we can't do that. So, uh, alright, we'll have time to do that, but this is what we're gonna finish up first. Uh, we are doing lots of double dealings. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. We're gonna cut it uh, a few minutes short here. Uh, so, uh, we are getting into political machinations left and right here. Uh, the Thulun, of course, are in the middle of all of this so far. Uh, with the technology thing, and then now, uh, this trying to bring, uh, Arbiter Bruckstrom down. So, we are... Yeah, we are thick in the middle of this, so that's cool. But we will take a chance at this all and see how it goes. So, uh, thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you're enjoying this, watch this on Twitch. That follow button, hit that notification button coming up. Uh, follow us on social media at Streams by Star on Twitter. Exclamation point Twitter in the Twitch chat will get you that link. Uh, exclamation point YT. We'll get you to our YouTube page for all the playthroughs, game playthroughs and such, so you can check all that stuff out. Uh, we will include a link to the Twitch and the Twitter in the description so you can check that out. And of course, like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff. Appreciate it. We also have a new YouTube channel for LEGO stuff, uh, archiving the uh, build streams we've been doing and some other stuff there as well. So you can check that out, but uh, point YT. Exclamation point Lego YT in the Twitch chat, and then uh, there will be a feature channel list 
uh, now a link to this on YouTube. So you can check it out that way. So uh, yeah, like I said, thank you all for joining me. Hope you all doing well out there. So stay safe, stay well. And I'll see you again next time.